Welcome to Effortless Cooking, where we make cooking effortless. And if you're anything like me, you want to know how to make this salmon, you barely want to do any cooking, few ingredients, then you've come to the right video. Now, don't worry guys, I left a recipe card where you can download in the links below, but right here, I just want you to concentrate on that smoked paprika and that smoked chipotle. That gives it a nice smoky flavor that's just gonna enhance the salmon, like it's just gonna be like, damn. And of course, you're gonna need some olive oil, your slab of salmon, this is about one pound, I think it was, I don't remember. And I'm just I sliced up a few lemons, you know, just to keep the the salmon moist. Now, because we're gonna be baking this, we gotta make sure you pat it, make sure that it's nice and dry, the salmon that is. And once you do that, just go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. And you're just gonna wanna work the olive oil in. And when you do that, you're gonna be pretty much just sprinkling all the seasonings on top of the salmon. Now, I know you're probably wondering to yourself, what am I going to pair this with? Don't worry. Right here on the right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see a little pop up that's going to be a link to perfect steam rice every time. Now, this here is actually the smoked paprika. If you're not able to find this, just go ahead and use regular paprika. But this definitely does give it a nice smoky, sweet flavor. I like, But if you're not able to find it, regular paprika will work. I'm adding a little garlic saw here and this last one this is the smoked chipotle now let me tell you this you can substitute the paprika but try to find the smoked chipotle if you cannot find it regular chipotle powder will work but if you can find both those ingredients smoked I'm telling you right now it's gonna set it off as it's gonna be this is gonna taste much more amazing it's gonna give it a nice smoky rub flavor now I'm just garnishing it with with lemons now this is just pretty much gonna help keep the fish moist while it's in the oven and what we're going to do now is preheat the oven to 400 degrees we're gonna be baking it for roughly around 15 minutes if you have a bigger piece around 20 minutes a few moments later now once you get it out the broiler after about two to three minutes this is exactly what you're gonna be left with I mean, your mouth is going to be smacking, watering. I mean, you're going to be licking your fingers after you're done with this one. And the best part about it is that even my brother can do it. So that makes it really simple, quick, easy, and fast. And I also left you a link down below, guys, where you can also pair this up nicely with some nice baked potato wedges. Trying to keep the healthy kick going, you know, just, you know, just making sure I'm looking out for my health as well as yours. And... Do you guys like salmon? Have you guys ever tried salmon? Is is there a different way you like it prepared? Let me know guys in the comment box down below. If you're anything like my brother, he is literally a salmon lover, but he hates seafood. He is just weird as hell. I don't know what's up with him. Um, and that's pretty much it. If I'm able to find smoked chipotle and smoked paprika, I will leave a description down below guys. Make sure you guys check out one of my other videos, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm out.